Our guest tonight is a friend of the show and fresh back from hyping up the crowds in Portugal at World Youth Day. Joe Melendrez is a popular Catholic speaker, rapper, and performer who also has his own clothing line called the God Swag Apparel. You may also know him from his ministry moments on Instagram. I love checking him out every day. He's always, he's always picks me up. I'm like, okay, I'll be a good Christian today. Joe's... <laughs> Joe's working on me and everybody else. Now, Joe, at a full slate of performances and events at World Youth Day in Portugal. And we're excited to hear all about them. But first, let's take a listen to Joe right after Mass with the Pope on Sunday addressing his social media followers. Ministry moment today in Portugal, just leaving the final Mass with the Pope. 1.5 million people gathered today. And I want to let you know that you are part of something that is way bigger than you. Experiencing 1.5 million people gathering together in prayer, coming to share their faith, coming to receive Jesus. It was just beautiful. You know, the church is so big and God has sent us forth to make disciples of all nations. And that's, that's a big deal. You are a part of something bigger than you. And God believes in you and you too. Peace. That was Sunday, right after Mass with the Pope. Friend of the show, Joe Melendrez. Welcome back to the Busted Halo Show. What's good, Father Dave? It's good. World Youth Day was good. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was <laughs> spectacular. Uh, it just it doesn't get it doesn't get much bigger than seeing crowds of a, a million plus people. It's like you have to see it to believe it almost. It's crazy. Now, you know what I'm realizing? Because we were thinking, wow, it's so great of Joe. As soon as he gets back, uh, he's probably a little jet lagged. Joe Melendrez is always very professional on the radio. I don't think I've ever seen him like so, okay, I'm kind of mellow. Uh, <laughs> Switches uh, back, it's a little jet laggy. Because you're in Pacific time, so you're like way, your whole bodily clock is way off. I, I, I adjusted pretty well coming back. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I try to take that in consideration on the, on the flight back to just kind of wake up <laughs> in U.S. time. You know, I'm, I'm doing my best here. <laughs> <laughs> I like that your low energy is still higher energy right. for anybody no, for else. Sure. Yeah. Like Father Dave. Yeah. yeah, that's good. So, Joe, for people that uh, hear you on our show, maybe some people sure. are tuning in and they don't know who Joe yeah. Landris is. They don't know. You, you, you've done a lot with youth ministry. You used to work at a Catholic school. You now yeah. have kind of what I would call an itinerant youth ministry, you go around to Catholic schools and public schools and parishes all around the country. And yeah. with music, song, rap, and your just overall energy, you yeah. invite young people to be engaged in the faith. Now, yeah. the thing that I love, and when I watch some of your videos, I love seeing like, cause you'll show, here they are, like before we're setting up the chairs, we're getting, getting the speakers off. And you see yeah. like the kids like being roped into this and like, oh yeah. geez. And you somehow by the end of an experience with Joe, suddenly yeah. they turn from cynical middle schooler to on fire for the Lord. But here's the thing, yeah. you go over to World Youth Day, boom, they're already there. You don't have they're to there. hype them up at all. You know, and that's that was so awesome because we're talking, uh, you know, kids who want to be there, who fundraised from all over the world. I think there was like 28,000 people from the United States who were represented um, that made their way over to Portugal. There were, uh, let's see, the largest group of people there, I think, were from Spain. There were some ridiculous, like 300,000 people from Spain came. Something something just massive. But you see that the kids that are there, even at the, there was morning catechesis. For those that don't know about World Youth Day, basically there were, I want to say, 2,500 different events that happened over the course of about six days. And we have, you know, speaking engagements, musical concerts, um, there's movies that were played, dances, um, all kinds of different things. And one of the things um, they had three days in a row was catechesis, where they would send a, a bishop, um, a new bishop every day to either a church or a small gathering, and they would do uh, learning of a, a certain theme of the day, and then they'd have mass with the bishop, and the bishop would share, share reflections. And I was a part of those, and just seeing the engagement. When I'm used to normally going to churches and trying to get kids in, in, engaged and excited, they, from the jump, they were all participating. And it was like, wow, what a breath of fresh air. But this <laughs> is the young church. You know, this yeah. is who's gathering together. This is who wants to make disciples of all nations and they're hungry to serve. So that was something that I noticed off the bat that was just awesome. 
So you were part of some of the big events that would have been, you know, people would see news clips of and, or, or even sure. if they watched live on yeah. WTN or whatever. But also some, so, as you said, there's like 2,500 events going on. So some of those are just like you. You did three, I think, solo performances, right? Like concerts, essentially, right? Yeah, all and it like says like it light, lights up. It sounds like Joe Melendrez. Yeah, no. So the first <laughs> the first concert was opening day on the main stage. So wow. um, they're about to have mass. I want to say two cool hours. Stage, after. It looked like it was a skyline behind it. Like it looked it, like it, it was actually. So it's it's blue. It's Mary blue. Okay. Of course. And I didn't yeah. realize this until a, a couple days later. My friend told me he's like it's actually in the shape of a crown. Like. Mary's crown. I'm like, oh, that's cool, right? And so it was in Parque Eduardo, and that that crowd that gathered in Parque Eduardo for mass was like 750,000 that day. So I was kind of like warming the people up as they're walking in, getting ready for mass, um, which is pretty now, wild. And now, Brett yeah. Sedell, you, you've done your fair share of warming up a crowd uh, for <laughs> yeah. like a music festival. <laughs> They were not that big. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I wasn't opening up the crowd at Bonnaroo. I was opening up yeah. the crowd at like a, a, a winery in uh, New Hampshire. You know? <laughs> but hey, you know what? Same show, though. It still it still would have gone off at World Youth yeah. Day. I believe. Oh, no. Yeah, no. We'll do it together sometime. Yeah, I, I believe. Let's I, do it. Yeah. I'll be your hype man. We've talked about this for I'm many so years. down. Now. In fact, <laughs> what what's so wild, and this is like an answered prayer. So my DJ that DJed for me, his name is DJ Code. I met him three weeks before going to World Youth Day. Okay, I didn't know him. Okay, and I both of my oh. DJs that currently travel with me, they were unable to go. And I'm like, man, this oh. is going to be a big show. I really would like to have a DJ with me to just keep the flow going. Yeah, sure. yeah. And so I was at a, a festival called Life Fest in Wisconsin, and oh. there's this rapper named Flame, who's a Christian rapper, and we were sitting in the artist area, and he we're having dinner with Flame. Uh, his DJ, DJ Code, and his his featured artist, Mike Real. And I just said, I, DJ Code's like, oh, yeah, I do, uh, you know, global events and, and DJ and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, I'm going to Portugal in a couple weeks. And he just says, you need a DJ? And I'm like, actually, yes, I do. I yeah, yes, I do. And can you pass the salt? This is going great. Yes, this that's what that's... it was. Wow. And so literally I came home. I talked to my wife. I'm like, I, I'm feeling really good about DJ Code. Come with me. And I'm like, if I can fundraise... Um, some funds. I'm like, I think it's it can be possible. We talked for like an hour and a half, talked through the show, and he was in. And wow. yeah, so he was like an answered prayer. And so that our first show together was on the main stage <laughs> at World Youth Day in front of thousands of people. And it, and Did it you at just, least like rehearse? I don't know in the hotel we, room. <laughs> we, that morning we uh, we did a talk Jeez. through. <laughs> but talk through. This is the part where I will spin the records and you yeah. will talk over them. <laughs> okay. But let's the thing go. is, what the thing that DJ Code does is that he helps artists elevate their show. Like he walks through the whole show. And so I knew that he was the man for the job and that he could make it even better. So yeah. it just it naturally flowed and he was he was so on with every cue and everything. So um that was a lot of fun. Now, and then an, so another when, thing. When you're, when you're at a dinner like that, you're hanging out with these guys, and you're hanging mm -hmm. with Flame and yep. Code and yeah. Real and Mike your Real, Joe. Yeah. Like, do they kind of make fun of you? Like, you should have a name. You should have no, a cool name. I, I should. J-Mel. You can call me J-Mel. Yeah. <laughs> J-Mel. <laughs> Joe Melendrez. <laughs> um, yeah. When he's but with the, Flame, he goes by J-Mel. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> we were going to call you Hyphen because you're a multi-hyphenate. You're a speaker, oh, hyphen, I, rapper. I, I, I like that. Hyphen, rapper, performer. Rapper, I'm like an HP printer. You can call me HP. You know, all-in-one printer. Like all in one. <laughs> all in one's pretty good. Although I, yeah. that sounds more like a barbershop quartet. All in so, one now. And a one. And a two. We're like joined a, this evening by HP printer Joe Melendrez, <laughs> freshly back from World Sponsor. Youth Day. Yeah. Now you you have a passion for youth ministry, mm -hmm. and oftentimes that passion is lived out. Like I said, I mean, like like all of us, daily life is not the same as the transfiguration moment. So sometimes yeah. it's like. 30 kids in a empty, you know, school hall yep, and you got yep. one little PowerPoint. Yep. And then here you are at World Youth Day. I yep. would imagine that for you, certainly, I mean, you're, we're obviously we're focusing on the youth and their experience, sure. but for you in terms of your even vocation, answering this call from God to serve in this way, mm -hmm. I would imagine World Youth Day is kind of a shot in the arm for you, huh? You know, it's, it's exciting. It's a, it's a sacrifice for so many people, you know, um, you know, leaving my family for eight days is a sacrifice. And 
but I like we as a disciple, as as you guys know, and those that are listening, like the call to serve is the call to serve, you know, and if you get a mission from God, you got to say yes. And the theme of World Youth Day was to rise up in haste, like Mary did to go visit Elizabeth. And so we need to rise up in haste and to to go forward and proclaim, you know, Jesus is Lord and tell the world about it. And so I when I got kind of the email literally like a month before World Youth Day, I got an email saying that I was going to be performing. Um, I was like, well, they okay, don't give you a lot of time to get a nice cheap <laughs> no, airfare, do they? And they, and no. they plan World Youth Day for three years. So you yeah. think, you know, you've got some more lead up time for real. Um, but I knew that I'm like, I like I had to I had to go. And uh, so, yeah, the, so I'm, I'm I'm I was honored to serve. And, you know, the seeing the youth and that's a, something actually I forgot to tell you this. Uh, we are one of our clips went viral on the Portuguese social media. And it, it was a clip they made of my song, Come Holy Spirit, and then this dance mix I had where they were doing like Thriller and stuff. And you see nuns pumping the fists and dancing and grooving. And so like Jared, DJ Code, he got a message on Instagram and this girl's like, listen, I don't know who you are, but this is trending right now on the Portuguese social media. I'm like, how cool is that? That, you know, God's going viral in Portuguese, in Portugal. And, um, <laughs> and we were a part of it. Um, but, you know, just to see... People well, come together. How, how does how does the letter X translate in Portuguese? Is it the same X? Twitter. I'm not sure. <laughs> but, oh yeah, <laughs> it's probably still El Twitter or something. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure. No, no one's calling it. I didn't X learn. Yet. Unfortunately, no didn't learn a ton of Portuguese um, while I was there. <laughs> but the, the energy shifting uh, uh, when you have so many people gathering together and they're aligned in prayer and in excitement and it's just like it's it's electric. And you just walk the streets and there's people everywhere. And, it, and the, on the day of the vigil, uh, the, so basically at the end of World Youth Day on Saturday, a million plus people walk to this vigil site where they're going to spend the night and they're going to have adoration with the Pope in the evening and then mass with the Pope in the morning. Um, and I was actually in the city on the day that they walked and it just felt empty. It felt like mm. blank. Wow. And it just goes to show you that, you know, when people gather together, there's something, there's something there, something different. There's something that shifts. And, um, and there would be like literally ministry moments, not the fact that I do these ministry moments, but people would have these encounters with Christ, you know, in small chapels, in conversations with people they bump in from other countries, um, at a concert, you know, so there's so many opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Having <laughs> sardines were in season. So having some sardines in Portugal, you know, <laughs> in season. Uh, I, as I'm like, I don't know what they, they were out of season. season. <laughs> They're never in season for me, Father Dave. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Pass. Pass. <laughs> so a million people are sleeping out in like tents and sleeping bags and little tarps and stuff. And they wake up in the morning and they're ready for mass with the Pope. Now the Pope, while he's there in the evening yeah. and he's there in the morning, I yeah. think they'll let him go sleep. Yeah, he, he has a he special, have to stay in the field. special com compound that, that he goes to. <laughs> Although, but, but what about you and DJ him. Code? <laughs> well, here's something, and this is also God providing. Uh, apparently, and so I have done the sleepover vigil and the walk. And yeah. so I, I feel like, you know, as I, I'm getting a bit older, I'm just a, a good night's <laughs> sleep old. is helpful for me to come back to my kids. So yeah, I, sure. the hotel I was staying at was actually right near one of the entrances to the final mass site. So Boom. I was able to wake up, have some quick breakfast and walk over and have mass with everybody. And that was, that was awesome. So I was grateful for that. God just taking care of me and put positioning that beautifully. Um, but, but yeah, you know, it's, it's a sight to see like literally a sea of people. And I, I forgot to tell you this, uh, <laughs> as I was starting to walk over in the morning, I hear some jams coming from the world youth day site area. I'm like, is there a DJ over there? Apparently, there's this Portuguese oh, this, this priest, priest who's I a DJ. Saw, I, he went yeah. far, viral. I saw oh, that. He did. And I, he, but he started like early, like six in the morning. He's like, he was like, he was the wake up, you know, music. So he's all of a sudden the kid, people are sleeping. They see the sunrise. And then this, this priest DJ is mixing and dropping beats. And people were just <laughs> loving it. They were loving it. It was I so love cool that he went viral in two, for two different opposite reasons. That he was like the wake up DJ, but also yeah. he was the wake up DJ. You know, like, <laughs> it's like bro, it's six o two a.m. This dude's doing <laughs> four, four, yeah. four flames right now. Yeah, there. I mean like, that's yeah. so great. And actually, I just saw before uh, coming on with you guys, he released a, a, like an EP 
like a World Youth Day dance kind of EP wow. um, today. And I'm like, how cool is that? You know, so beautiful. Did I'm DJ Code run up to him and go, hey, do you need like another DJ? Well, Back it's up. funny. Yeah. Actually, DJ Code was <laughs> actually headed to the airport that morning when I heard that. And so like, hmm, heard, can't be I'm like, is someone DJing? And then I, I sent it to him and he's like, no way. You know, it's like, it's like, <laughs> I'm so coming cool. back. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Melendres is our guest here on the Busted Halo show. You uh, have recorded and performed in the past with Father Rob Galea that many people yep. might know. Australian mm -hmm. priest, originally from Malta, but serves in yep. Australia. Uh, he was at World Youth Day. Did you guys have opportunities together? We did almost every event um, that we didn't have crossover events together, we did together. So he jumped on stage with me um, during my concerts, and then I would jump on stage with him and his concerts. We have a couple songs we've, we've done together, and it's just a lot of fun. That's the other thing, coming together as one big Catholic family, you know, I saw friends of mine from Germany, I saw friends of mine from the United States, um, I, and Father Rob from Australia, and just to like hang out on a regular basis to have conversation to to sit down and you know at a at an outdoor cafe and and talk about life and faith and what God's doing it was just beautiful moments to have that that friendship that's like what the church is all about like we're such a universal church and so so to hang out with Father Rob um, I text him today I was just so grateful um, for his, his friendship for his brotherhood and his mentorship and and yeah so for us to collaborate on stage and praise God and to then to hang out afterwards and have have great conversation it was it was a blessing. Now, Joe, I have a tip for you. Sure. I would say don't wait for the letter for Seoul, Korea in 2027. <laughs> Just book the flight now. They're probably going to ask you, but they're not going to ask you until the last minute. I'm gonna, like, yeah. Know. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> no, actually, Father Dave, this was the first official. Okay. In 2011, my friend, his Danny Panuelo, he's a, a Marianist priest. He in, invited me to join him to rap for the Pope as the Pope was coming back to, I believe it's called the Nuncature, where he was staying, right? And so that was the first like in what, official in invitation in, which, in, in Spain in 2011. In Spain. Okay. Yeah. But other than that, I hadn't had any official invites to perform for Duthe. So this kind of is the first official invite where I was invited to perform, do three solo concerts and, you know, help out with catechesis. Um, so it was, it was once you're in, you're in, deal. bud. So 2027. Hope you still got the game. <laughs> Are you gonna go? I, I wanted to see you there. I was like, man, Father Dave should be here. It'd be great. Should be here. Totally. Yeah. He <laughs> said Father Jimmy Sue, uh, one of my Paulist brothers, was there, and he was oh. working with the USCCB, so he had great. like you know the VIP. Yeah. Yeah. He was yeah well, speaking of, yeah. yeah so um, DJ Code, this is his first Catholic <laughs> event. Okay. And he's actually, he's not Catholic. I met him at, at, at a Christian concert, at a Protestant Christian at concert. At so, dinner, we heard, yeah. Yeah, and so um, <laughs> so I was kind of like kind of educating him as we go, and we got to hang out in the bishop's lounge and have oh, meals sure. with the bishop. And so he's the, the bishops were loving <laughs> just talking to him. And he's asking all these questions, and it's just like not your typical questions that you get, you know, to bishops on a regular basis. So he had a lot of fun hanging out with the bishops, and yeah, it was, it was great. Like the bishops are teaching him like about Jesus or, or about Catholicism, and he's teaching them how to DJ. It's a nice yeah, little exactly, cross pollination. That's exactly what yeah. happened. That's it. So he's going. All right, let me let me drop this on you. All right, yeah. let's see. Here we go. Okay. Hey. So okay, Bishop. So if you're gonna give your blessing, you want to go in the name of the Father and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit, and then he kind of he mixes in a little something there. Yeah, yeah, and then and then you yeah. bob your head quite a bit, you kind know. Bob it. Father yeah. Dave has that part down for certain. <laughs> head bob. Head Anyone bob listening right now? I want you bobbing. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Melendez. Before I let you go, I want to say yeah. two things. One sure. is uh, people can certainly find out where you're going to be and or to book you to come to their school or parish or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but the other thing that you were, uh, I'm glad that while I'm sure it was humbling that you bravely put out in your social media you were invited to go to world youth day but the u.s delegation didn't say and here's the plane ticket so sure. you actually had to do fundraising just for your expenses there probably dj yeah. code you got to get him like an extra little pair of headphones he probably ruined a pair of headphones while he's there yeah. so uh, i'm pretty sure that people can still go to your website and support your effort yeah. even though you're back sometimes yeah. it's tough once you're you know back on the soil but sure. i'm sure i'm sure that you could still use a few so we'll put a link on our radio blog bustedhalo.com slash radio i'm sure joe with his gifts can reach a lot more young people at a world youth day than you or i but we can help them get there so, uh, I'm so head over so to that thankful. and support joe's trip yeah thank you father day for supporting I, I really appreciate it for everyone who supported it was just a major blessing because as an independent artist yeah we we had to fundraise everything 
by ourselves and adding DJ code a couple weeks before, you know, a <laughs> little more expenses, but it, his, it, his rider is like, I'm going to need the green M&Ms separated <laughs> from the brown M&Ms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it, 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 he was awesome. And one of the things that we checked after three days, we had walked 41 miles and most of that was with his DJ mixer. Okay. Just oh, dragging wow. it. Wow. Yeah. Right, so yes. You have to pay for his rotator cuff surgery too. We're gonna need people to fundraise, okay? Please help help these guys out. Oh yeah. Um, what what I would, a great I would love Holy to... Spirit moment when you're sitting there having dinner and the guy says, "Do you need a DJ?" Well, of course I do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We well, had great. healing masses after, so that's good. You know. Yo, that's what. That's what <laughs> What's the where's where are you going uh, next? What's your next? Uh, I'm actually headed to Nashville uh, in about nine days, uh, doing uh, some youth ministry kickoffs out there. Um, oh, because it's the beginning of like the school year, you mean? Yeah, youth ministry is coming back together and stuff like that. So, but yeah, anyone who's li listening, uh, schools, churches, um, I even do house shows. I did a living room concert in Dallas a couple weeks ago. Do a little Bible study concert. Three families gathered together. So you name it, I'll do it. I just want to excite people to follow Jesus and uh, yeah, get them to to love the Lord. Yeah. So now he's been performing for seven hundred fifty thousand people, but he'll still come to your living room. He's not. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. We gotta find some additional same show. Room for DJ I'll do the Code same now. show that the I did same show. on on the main stage. He's you jumping got around it. on somebody's couch. Like, oh wait, wait, we uh, let's put some plastic on that first. Okay, all right, just go for it. Joe, you're such a great uh, apostle for the Lord in our modern era. Thank you for what you do. Praise God. Thank you, Father Dave.